Okay, I know everybody's probably happy they picked up their Evo today. I wanted to hop on and do one quick video um, just to show how to set up the emulator. So I was getting a lot of questions about those. So the first thing you want to do is go to the market. Um, in the market, you can just search for, honestly, you probably can just search for it, the actual name of the system. I'll do SNES now. So I just typed in SNES. and uh, wait to see what results it brings back. So it brings back several different emulators. Um, as I mentioned before, I kind of just like the uh, SNES OID uh, Lite. It's free. Um, so there you have it and you just would install that, but I already have it installed. The next thing you want to do is go and get ROMs from whatever source. Like I said, I like to use DopeROMs.com. Download the ROMs for your particular um, system of choice and then just install uh, those ROMs into your actual SD card. You're going to unzip them first though and put them in your SD card. I like to put mine in a folder. Uh, you see here I have uh, Astro file manager I'm using here just to kind of look through the files on my phone. You might want to use that as well. Um, but I make mine into a folder called ROMs and then in that I separate them by actual system and then you see all the different ROMs I have in there. So you want to unzip those ROMs and put them on your SD card. They don't have to be in the root of your SD card, but they do need to be on your SD card. Once you have them on your SD card, you then just go to the actual emulator itself. And that's going to bring up, uh, it should bring up, it most likely is going to ask you where they are. Since I've already been using mine, it remembered where they were. But you would just navigate through this menu here to the folder you saved them in. Uh, pick the ROM of choice. And there you go. Uh, one last thing to remember besides the you know setting up of the ROMs, you're going to want to uh, go into your menu and uh, go to settings. And under settings, you'll see some options for your virtual keypad. So you're going to want to actually select turn the virtual keypad on. Um, I like to change mine a little bit more. Uh, I like to let's see here. I don't even see it on here. But they have the option to uh, the size of your keypad. Here we go. Virtual keypad, virtual keypad settings. So you're going to want to go into virtual keypad settings, uh, turn the actual keypad on, set the size up, um, control size. I like mine to be as big as possible in there. So large. Uh, transparency. I like to turn transparency up a little bit so I can see the buttons easier. Uh, high controls. And here's one that's kind of important. They have the option of putting half the buttons at the top and the bottom, to all at the top, all at the bottom. I put them all at the bottom. The other ones just don't make sense to me. Uh, so if you get a funky layout on your screen, that's what you need to adjust. But yeah, then once you set that up, you're good to go.